Hi, students. Good morning. This is Miss Oprah here. Um, today, I'll be um, explaining the final revision booklet, okay, um, for English language year two. Okay, that being said, let's go into the booklet. Okay, first of all, here we are going to be looking at the vocabulary words. Here we have nine vocabulary words to learn. Okay, this are these words we've seen before um, and we've learned it before. So all we need is to revise. And what we're going to do here is that we're going to look at the word, the meaning of the word, and then make a sentence with the word so that we can know the word very well. Okay, for example, here we have the first word, greedy. Greedy means what? Wanting more than you need. And then let's make a sentence with greedy. The greedy man wanted all the money without sharing. Now let's go ahead to look at the other words we have. We have monster, strange, argue, coin, hunt, helmet, horse, axe. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, look at all the words again, say it, look at the meaning, say it and then try to make your own sentence after you have read the sentence, okay? Make a sentence after reading the, the sentence you have here, make your own sentence so that we know that you understood it. Okay, now let's practice with some of those words we've learned so far. Now we have to fill in the gap with a word from the box to complete the sentences below. For example, here we have the biker wall. Okay, before we go ahead to read the sentence, let's look at the words from the word box. Monster, hunt, axe, helmet, horse, strange. Okay, now let's make us let's put these words in the sentences to complete the sentence, right? The biker wall air what? What did the uh, biker wear? The biker wore what? a helmet. The biker wore what? a helmet. Okay. So I'll be writing here number one as the answer to number one. Now let's look at the next one. That flower looks dark. I have never seen it before. How does a flower look? Of course, it looks what? Strange. Now let's look at the next sentence. The wooder used an dash to cut down the tree. What did the wooder use to cut down the tree? He can only use the axe to cut down the tree. Number four, my grandma used a dash to water the garden. My grandma used a hose to water the garden. That should be number four, right? Okay. Now, number five. When I was young, I used to be afraid of monsters. When I was younger, I used to be afraid of monsters. Okay, now can we use um, these words, argue, and make a meaningful sentence? Okay, can you write a sentence with it? Argue, and what? Coin. Now, let's um, put this word in alphabetical order. Remember what an alphabetical order means? It means that we should arrange these words we have here in according to A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? So we look at the words 
First of all, we look for a word that starts with A. Do we have any word that starts with A? If we don't have, we move over to B. If we don't have, we move over to C, D, E, like that until we finish the words, okay? Okay, now let's find this puzzle. Oh, puzzles are always fun to do. Okay, can we do this puzzle? Can you do it? Okay, find the puzzle and do it. Find the words. First of all, you find the word deadly, cobra, swarm, sting, ringed, nasty, fangs, golden, touch, hot. Okay, so you find this word. That being done, let's go ahead to choose the correct answer to complete the sentences below. So number one says, Jean dashed his pair at the dolphin. Of course, Jean hold his pair at the dolphin. Jean hold his pair at the dolphin. Dolphins dive in water. Tiger shark often swim close to the beaches. Blue ringed octopus bite is deadly. A boy raised his hand to speak. Helicopters must fly in low to put out fire. Okay, now for um the next. Question, we have to fill in the gap using the word from the box above. Okay, so we're going to use this word fire, ringed, ragged, arguing, haunted, giant to complete the sentences. He came wearing what? Ragged clothes. Bonnie and Sandy were always arguing. They hunted all day to find the gold. The girls saw a giant fly at the playground. Firefighters put out fires on land, sea, and from the air. Sirens ring as the firefighters arrive. Okay. Now let's talk about phonics. Okay, here in phonics so far, we've done, we, did, uh, we learned about the soft and the hard G, right? So for us to complete this, for us to complete it, or be able to answer it, how did we learn it? Remember the rules, it has a rule. If the rule here says that for a soft G, okay, Wherever you see a sub G in a word, it is being followed by E, I, Y. And whenever you see a hard G, it's being followed by what? A, O, U. For some of us, even though we cannot pronounce it, I know that for some, the soft G, whenever we mention it, it's what? The sound is what? G, G. Okay? So like gentle. Giant, energy. Okay, but even if we cannot pronounce the word, we can still be able to know if it's a soft G or a hard G. Okay, by what? Looking at the, the G in the word and see the next letter that followed it. For example, we have gentle. Look at it. The G, after the G, we have what? E. Look at here in giant, we have what? After the G, we have I. And here in energy, we have Y after the G. Okay, now let's look at the hard G. The hard G also after the G here in gate, we have what? A. Okay, agonizing after the, the G is what? O. Gossip after the G is what? Another O. So that is how we are going to know if it's a soft G or a hard G. Now let's try this. Okay, so look at this word, even though you can't pronounce it, okay, to know if it's the sound G or G. Now let's do
do this together. After the G is what? E. It means is what? A soft G. So we write it on the soft. Look at this G in this word good. Okay? What is it? After the G is what? O. So it means is what? A hard G. So we have to do the rest following the rules. Okay, same with the soft C and the hard C. The soft C is followed by E, I, O, Y. And the hard C is followed by A, O, O, U. Okay, and we all know that the hard C has the K sound, while the soft C has a C sound. Okay, but here we're going to look at the words. If it's a hard C, we color it blue. And if it's a soft C, what do we do? We color it green, okay? Okay, now let's look at the rhyming words. Remember the rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound, right? Their ending sounds are the same. For example, we have here cave, gave, save. So they all sounds what I like. So here we're going to look for the word that rhymes with beach, tread, tear. Okay. For example, in beach, we can see teach. Okay. Then for tread, we can say head. And for wear, we can say what? Wear. Good. Then finish the rest yourself. Okay, now let's practice words and then with I-C-E and A-C-E, okay? We have a word here, lace, which means what? A lace dress, nice, have to be nice to people, rice, oh, many of us loves rice, right? Who loves to eat rice? Me, I love to eat rice a lot. Race. Okay, many of us love this game. Okay, the spot, we love it a lot and we do it. Dice, okay, look at the dice we use in playing games. Okay, so now that being said, let's use the word to complete the sentence below. So you have to, for example, number one says, he was very happy when he won the race. What is a good food to eat? Rice. Number three, the dress was trimmed with lace. Ali is such a nice boy. Number five, you can only play the game with a dice, said Ali. Okay, so that is it for this question. Let's go ahead and see this the phonics that end with uh, E-A-R, okay? The words that end with E-A-R. So here we're going to look for the words that has E-A-R in it. If it doesn't have E-A-R, it means it's not the answer. For example, this calendar, okay? Now let's look at A, does it have E-A-R? No, B, yes, of course, B has E-A-R, so we circle it. Okay, number two, which one has E-A-R? Okay, C, of course. And number three, which one has E-A-R? A, very good, okay. So now let's go ahead and do the next one. And this is, these are words that ends with A-I-R. Now we're going to circle the word that matches the picture. Okay, look at the picture. What is he sitting on? He is sitting on a chair. Okay, this is it, a chair. And look at the, this boy's hair. Okay, so what is it? A hair. It also ends with what? A I R. Okay, syllables. Remember what syllables are? They are 
small sounds you hear in each word. And each syllable must have a vowel sound. Okay, so we're going to look at this, um, read the words below and count the number of syllables, then sort them in the table. Okay, if it's one syllable, we write. If it's two syllables, we write. If it's three syllables, we write the word down under three, two, or one. For example, elephant. The first picture here is what? Elephant. So let's clap. Elephant. How many syllables? Can we do it again? Elephant. It has how many syllables? Of course, it has three syllables. So we write down elephant on the three syllables. The next word is apple. Apple, how many do you think it has? You write it down. Frog, frog. Remember to clap each word. Monkey, monkey. Carrot, carrot. Deer, butterfly, butterfly. Telephone, telephone. Moon, flower, flower. Dinosaur, dinosaur. Okay, so you're going to write them under each table. If it's one, you write. If it's two, you write. If it's three, you write. Okay, now let's go ahead and revise prefixes. Remember what prefixes are? They are a group of letters added to the beginning of a word to make new word. And we have prefix plus a root word to make what? A new word. For example, we have the prefix on this and our e. Okay? So we have on this ray. So these are the three prefixes we've learned so far. And remember that the prefix this means what? Not or none. It means that the new word should mean the opposite of the original word. Now the prefix means back or to make again. That means the word, the new word we're going to make when we add the prefix re has to mean make again or go back of the root word. Now, the prefix on means not or reverse action. Okay, and it means what? The new word should be the opposite of the original word. That being said, let's look at this question. We have to choose the correct prefix for each word to complete the sentence. Okay. Okay, so now let's read it. I fell off my bike and fell dash comfort in my knee. So what do you think it is? If you say B, that means you're correct. I fell off my back bike and feel discomfort in my knee. Number two, he is staying home from school today as he is what? Unwell. I broke the verse, so I need to replace it. She is naughty and disobeys her parents. We need to build the cabin again. We need to what? Rebuild. That means make again. My sister left her lunch dash finished. What? Unfinished means did not finish it. I am still thirsty. Please refill my glass of water. I need to rewrite the sentence. Some believe the number 13 is an unlucky number. I dislike basketball, but I like soccer. Okay, so that is it for this question. Let's go ahead and make the next. Now here it says that we should underline the prefix in each word. 
Of course, we know the prefixes we've learned so far, right? On this rig. So all we need to do is just to underline the prefix. I remember the prefix are what? Before the root word. You can't find a prefix after the root word, no. We have to find it before the root word. So finish it up, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about suffixes. Remember what suffixes are? Unlike prefixes, the suffixes are what? Letters added at the end of the word, okay, of the root word. And we have learned so far the suffix F-U-L, L-Y, L-E-S-S, E-R, E-S-T, okay? So these are the suffixes we've learned so far. Okay, so let's look at the rules. Okay, suffixes rule. Remember the rules. When a word ends with a short vowel sound and a single consonant, we have to double the consonant. For example, for us to add the suffix ed, we have here, we have to what? Double the consonant, p. Now we have to double the consonant n. I will have to double the consonant T to make the new word. And here, when a word ends in E, we drop the E if the suffix begins with a vowel. For example, driver. So we have to remove the, the E in drive to make and put another ER to make word driver. Again, here we have, um, when a word ends in E, we keep the E if the suffix begins with a consonant. For example, we have here, tasteless, lovely, hopeful. So here we don't have to remove the E because the, the suffix, okay, starts with a consonant. But if it starts with a vowel, we remove the E. When a word ends with Y, you change it to what? I. You change it to I. Okay. And then, except if the suffix is ing. Now, let's do this again. Underline the suffix and draw a circle around the root word. So all we need to do here is what? We underline the suffix, E, R, S, T, and then we circle the root word, easy. Again, for this one, we underline the word, big, and we underline the word. We circle the, the root word and underline the suffix er. Okay, here again, careful, we circle the root word, which is care, and then underline the f u l. So, okay, kindly finish the rest yourself. Now, here, let's add the suffix ly. So, these words to make a new word quickly. Quickly. Okay, so this being done, can you finish the rest? Just add ly and then write the new word from. And for here, we have to write the root word and then add er to it. Here we write the root word and then we add the est to it. Here, we're going to form the adjectives using what? The suffix F-U-L or L-E-S-S. -S. So all we need to do is what? 
add the suffix f-u-l to this word and what we make cheerful when we add it to sussex we have what successful beauty remember in beauty we have to change the y to what i remember the rules and even in beauty we have to change the y to what i the y we have to change it to i to make what before we add the f u o now change the following words into adjective using the suffix l e s s so we do the same breath we have breathless okay finish the rest now for the grammar part of it what we need to do here is so far in grammar we've learned we've learned the noun the verb the adjectives okay so first of all, let's look at now. Remember that now is the name of people, places, animal, and things. For example, people, example, Sarah, Ahmed, and so on and so forth. Places, you have Qatar, we have a school, we have house, mall, and so on. Animals like cat, dog, giraffe, and so on. Things, we have pen, chair, cup, and so on, okay? So now let's complete the sentence using only the now, the right now, okay? The dash goes to bed. What goes to bed? Okay, the dash goes on the bed. What goes on the bed? The blanket, right? Put your dash in the toy box. What do we put in the toy box? The toys. Can you finish the rest? Good. Okay, that being done, let's go ahead and see the next page. Okay, here we have verbs. What are verbs? Remember that action, something that we do. These are what? Verbs. For example, eat, write, run, play, swim, read. All these things are what we do, right? These are the actions we do. Okay, for example, here we have to circle the verb in each word. We have to do what? Circle the verb in each word. Now let's try the first one. Maria sets the table for dinner. So what are the verbs? Okay, is table a verb? No, it's not a verb. So what is the action here? Set, of course. Tony walks his pet. What is the action? Walk. The cats run after the mouse. Run. Bill ate potato chips. What is it? She said eight, you're correct. The children dance to the music. What is the verb? If you say danced, you are correct. Okay, so this being done, let's go ahead and see the adjectives. Okay, adjective, which is what? A word that describes now, like feelings, colors, sizes, flavors, numbers. Okay, these are adjectives. Now let's go ahead and practice. Fill in the gap using a word from the word box. So now malak is what? We are practicing here what? The adjective. So malak is a dash girl. It's a beautiful girl. The table has dash legs. Of course, the table has four legs. Dash music gives me a headache. Loud music. You are my dash friend. You are my best friend. Mohammed is a strong boy. Okay, now we have to read the poem and underline the noun. We circle the verb and put a square around the adjective. Okay, so let's do this. Are we ready? Are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to do the first one. And then we have to finish the rest. How does a little, little means what? An adjective, right? So what do we do? We put a square around it. Crocodile is what? And now we underline it. Improve his shining tail. Shining means what? 
an adjective we put a square and for till is what a now and poor poor which is an action is what a verb so we put a circle the waters of the nine water is what and now a nine is what? A name of a river. So it's what? It's also a noun. So can you finish the rest? Good job. Now let's look at the tenses. Let's look at the tenses. Remember when we learned about our tenses, we say that for the tenses, that the past means it has happened and ended. It happened before, yesterday, earlier today, last week, last year. Present means what? It is happening right now. And future means it will happen later. It has not happened, but it can happen tomorrow, next, or even this evening or afternoon. But it has not happened. So future means it will happen later. Now let's circle the action verb and write if it's past or future. Okay, so they are entering the room with confidence. Entering is the action. And what does it mean? They are doing it right now. So it is what? Present, present. Okay, so we write here, present, okay? I remember this one, the children finished. Finished is the action here. And it has, it was in the past. They finished their homework already. So it has happened. Okay, can you try the rest? Good job. Now let's read this comprehension and Let's read the comprehension and try to answer these questions with true or false. Let's read. Lucas' grandpa lives on a farm. Okay, this comprehension is actually about Luca and the chicken, right? Can you read it and then put if it is true, if the sentence is true, you write true. If it's false, you write what? F. Now, the number two says, what sound do you think chickens make? Okay, can you write it? When you, but first of all, you have to read the paragraph. Okay. Now, again, you have to do this. You have to read this text and then you have to answer the question following it. And the title is what? Playing catch. Can you read it? Let's try to read it and then we answer this question. We have just four questions, okay? Now, look at the pictures and complete the sentence. We have here, she is what? What do you think she's doing? She's playing her piano or she's playing a piano. And what can he do? He can play a guitar, okay? He can play what? A guitar. Now, Number five, what do you think he's doing? He is playing a ball. He is playing a ball. What do you think she's doing? She is riding her bike. She is riding her bicycle, okay? Now, what is she doing? She's reading a book and then finally, she is dancing. Now, let's complete this paragraph, okay, about what you did during your Eid holiday, okay? Remember how we did it before in class, when we talked about our Eid holiday, we have to start with during the Eid holiday. I, maybe you woke up in the morning, then you had your breakfast. Next, you went shopping. Later that day, you went to the pool. And finally, you came home and slept. Okay, so just use this and complete the paragraph and tell me how or what you did during your e holiday. Now let's talk about the punctuation and capitalization. Remember punctuation here? 
full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, comma, apostrophe. Remember apostrophe is what? It's the same like comma, but comma we write it down. And where do we write apostrophe? Up, okay? Now, can we punctuate this sentence? Punctuate it, okay? Now let's see, what is your name? You have to always start our sentence with what? A capital letter. And if it's a question, we end it with what? A question mark. But if it's not a question, what do we do? We put what? A full stop. But if it's an exclamation, what do we do? We also end it with what? An exclamation mark. So number two, we have here I. We have to start with the quality with a capital letter. And then we end with a full stop. Wow, which is an exclamation. We put what? An exclamation mark. I passed my exam. Number four, we bought pencils, crayons, and how do we, what do we do to this list of things we buy? We have to separate them with what? A comma. So we have here, we bought pencils, comma, crayons, comma, books. Do we put a comma before and? No, remember we don't. So we only put the comma here. We bought pencils, comma, crayons, comma, and sharpener at the stationery store. We put a full stop. Now, number five, we are going to the beach. We are, so we have to make we are into one word. And what do we do? And what do we do? We have to put an apostrophe, okay? Remove the AR, put the E, but before we put the E with we, we put what? An apostrophe. And finally, we do what? We end the with a full stop. Okay, girls so and boys, that is the end of it for the revision booklet. I wish you all luck. And uh, remember that anyone you can do, remember to always ask me, okay? And we'll do it together. And I'll have to explain it to you again. Good luck. And remember, you're always a superstar. You are smart and you can do this, okay? Bye, see you soon. Thank you.